Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a little video because there was some discussion in the boutique synth thread about the bass output in particular of the JP08 synthesizer and how it compares to other synthesizers. I'm here in my studio, I'm hand holding the camera today because I'm going to try to move around a little bit, show you a few things. Not only are we looking at the virtual hardware example of the Jupiter 8 recreation, the Boutique Sense, sitting right there. Uh, I got two of them linked up in chain mode. But also, uh, to give a comparison, I've got over here a Kiwi 106, really a Juno 106, with just a little bit of uh, minor enhancement to the features, uh, the synth architecture features, like a couple extra LFOs and envelopes. You can read about it. But at its core, it's essentially uh, the closest thing I have in the studio right now to a vintage Roland sound and uh, a Juno 106. And then another thing I thought I'd bring into the equation is just what's known very clearly to be a bass monster and that would be a Voyager, a Moog Voyager. Uh, very good bass comes out of that synth. Something to notice about my room, uh, first of all my sound system you can see it down there in the corner, it includes a subwoofer. So I can get some pretty good bass going in this room. I've got some JBL speakers in here and that sub. And uh, another thing to take note is that I've got all these synths running through just very minor effects. I've got some Stroyman effects, uh, a timeline, and a big sky going really mild just to give us some depth. I could go dry, but I don't feel like messing around with all that just for this purpose. So let's listen a little bit. First thing I've got here, the Juno or Kiwi, depending on how you want to go. Now it's a very diverse sound set and very simple as compared to the Jupiter synth architecture, but it's got that classic rolling sound and I love it. Hear some good boom going on there. Um, you know, another point I wanted to make about my studio is if you look uh, at the back of my studio, you'll see that the doors that I have to the room, they're glass doors. So one problem I'll get in here occasionally in this room, uh, which I resolve by the way, switching over here because I've got this curtain, this soundproofing curtain that when I'm actually mixing, I can close the curtain and. Uh, block out noise from going into my home to the rest of the occupants of my home uh, as well as uh, minimize any sound reflection I might get off that glass sliding door right there but uh, what's great about that door is I know when something's really booming in bass because it'll make that door rattle a little bit so I could go through a couple of different patches here <laughs> such a diverse sound set that the Kiwi has, the Juno has, Vintage Roland, it's got great bass, love that sound, uh, let's see here, try something like this, So there's an example of that. Now let's listen for a second over to uh, just a, uh, one of my favorite bass patches. It's just, it's not even really a bass patch per se, but it's just a got great tone and great bass to it. And just listen to this. Beef, just beefy. That's a Moog sound, right? So, and that's, again, just by reputation, the only reason I'm even introducing that here in an example, just by reputation, it's just got a really well, well-rounded, well um, deep, bassy tone. I know that wasn't a bass patch per se, but it uh, that particular patch to me signifies the depth and the warmth and the um, power of the bass register coming out of a Voyager. I could find some bass patches, but let's not mess around. Let's go right, right to what we want to talk about, which is the JP-08. So I've got some of my own patches here, and uh, these are patches that I designed. I've got four or five of them. 
and uh, they really represent some of the bass that you can pull out of this that are not not shown necessarily in the um, factory patches. So let's take a look at this. Here's a similar patch, a little bit different. Um, while that first patch was just taking the two oscillators uh, what you just heard, taking the two oscillators and um, giving them a little spread. Uh, I think both are pulse width mod. Um, one's detuned, uh, both in the lower register. Um, just bringing the cutoff down just a hair, no resonance. Uh, very deep sound. But here's one where I achieved uh, something else I, I actually typed in the thread about, where I... Uh, what I did was I used the low frequency oscillator uh, options. This one right here, right there, all the way up, low fre frequency oscillator, uh, and brought it up into the audio range just at the very bottom of the audio range and then used the cross mod, just a very little bit of cross mod to find literally a sweet spot that just made it sing out with bass. It's a similar sound to the first patch, but this one's even deeper in my opinion. Let's see, what else do I got here? Not all these are bassy patches. I think this one's... That's just a, a resonant pad patch that I developed. But it sounds very, very Jupiter 8-ish to me. I think this one is a very bassy patch. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that's making my glass door rattle. So that's the bassiest synth I got in the room right now. Love that sound. And uh, do I have anything else? What else do I got in here? Oh yeah, just some more, more pad sounds. But you can hear that one's using uh, resonance and, and low cutoff and just slight uh, envelope modulation to um, really bring out the filter where there's just hidden very bass uh, harmonics that come out. They don't they don't ring out through the whole patch, but you can hear where the filter kind of bottoms out, where it slides out on the envelope. Uh, it can it can get really bassy. So if I had tweaked that around and turned it into a bass patch, I could have uh, achieved the same. So just giving you a little, uh, just some sense of what you can get on the JP08. as compared to the original. Of course, it's hard to know on this synth what path is going, where the real bass is. changed it since the last time I've uh, messed around with it. There's a JDXA in there. Prophet 6 down there. Prophet 12 right there. Variety of instruments. 
just a nice look around for anybody that might be interested. Uh, actually have a new new Mac Pro cylinder in there that I'm working on right now. And um, there we go. Some effects. Mostly my guitar rig right there. And I've redone my uh, modular setup to make it a little bit more ergonomic for me to work on it. Little machine studio right there. Some more Electron. And there's something new. Something I just got in, haven't even had a chance to play with yet. Going to be fun. Going to be fun looking at that. And of course my axe. Anyways, that's it. Thanks very much for listening.